In today's video, the regulated profession we are going to focus on is architecture. The job responsibilities for a regulated architecture in Canada include architectural design and analysis. So you are going to develop the architecture project according with Canadian construction standards and offer all your insights from the design to the delivery. Documentation and record keeping is your responsibility. Maintain accurate documentation of all project steps. You need to make sure to be very precise because your project is going to be outdated very often. Budgeting and cost estimation. It's part of your duty to present the budget for all the purchases involved in the project as well as how to allocate resources effectively. You also need to make sure that all the licenses are updated and easy to assess. Site inspection and quality assurance. A part of your work is also making sure that the site is working exactly how the project estimated before, project management and strategy. It's also your responsibility to make sure that everything that is under the project scope is going to be delivered on time and on budget. Environmental sustainability and regulation. You need to be aware of all the sustainability and environmental policies to make sure that your project is under all the requirements. Industry. I'm going to give you examples of places where you can start trying to find a job in Canada even before having your license. Architecture and design, firms and studios, construction companies, government and public sector, interior design offices, real estate and property development, design and renovation companies, and more. Regulatory body. Your profession is regulated in both federal and provincial level. The Federal Association is the Royal Architecture Institute of Canada, and each province has a different association. You can go ahead and click the description of this video, and you're going to find all the links for the architecture associations in every province in Canada. Steps. So what are the steps to become a regulated architecture in Canada? First of all is your education. If you are studying inside the country, probably you are going to receive guidance about how to apply. If you have foreign experience, you need to evaluate your credentials and submit them to make sure your regulatory body is going to validate that experience. You also have to accumulate related experience in the province you are trying to apply for. Your experience outside Canada doesn't help you in your regulation process, so you have to acquire another 48 months of supervised experience. Make sure to assess the link of your organization because these requirements can change all the time. Finally, you have to go through a written examination. So make sure to understand the format of your test because very often you present the skills they are looking for, but you don't know how to answer the test. Therefore, you are going to harm the process of becoming regulated. Working before regulation. There are a variety of positions that you can apply even before being regulated. For example, architecture assistant, drafts person, car technician, building information modeling coordinator, interior design assistant, planner assistant, construction project coordinator, and much more. Networking. For your career development, it's very important that you keep networking since day one. The first place where you should start is the regulatory body of the province you're applying for. Start talking to mentors and peers about what are the possibilities for you. And also, make sure to attend events across Canada in order to connect with people from the same industry. If you are ready to develop your career in Canada and become a permanent resident, go to our website and schedule a career consultation. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you soon.